Hey, have you ever been scolded by anyone that if you ever did anything wrong, then they are going to break your leg? I don't know if you have been, but let me tell you something interesting about breaking your leg. Breaking your leg can be a treatment option for some conditions. Yes, I'm not joking. Breaking your leg can be a treatment option for some conditions, but it's not in the way that you probably have been thinking of. Well, let me explain this to you. Hello everyone, this is Sagar Panta, currently a 4th year MBS student studying in UCMS Bairava. What I am talking about today is about rotation plasty. Rotation plasty is a surgical procedure where the bottom of the femur, knee and the proximal portion of the tibia, upper portion of the tibia are removed. You may ask me why are they removed? They are removed because there is a cancer in the bone that needs to be removed from the body. We have to reject the cancer from the bone, osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma is the malignant tumor of the bone that most commonly affects around the knee joint around the metaphysis of the distal femur. It has the peak incidence among the people of 10 to 20 years and it has the second incidence in the elder age as well. But the procedure that I am talking about, the rotation plasty, is done in the growing children where the parts that I mentioned earlier, the distal femur, knee bone and the proximal part of the tibia are surgically removed and the remaining portion of the femur and the remaining portion of the tibia and the foot, they are fused surgically with the help of plates and before fusing this the remaining portion of the lower limb that is the tibia and the ankle the tibia and the foot they are rotated to 180 degree and now they are fused so that the ankle now acts like a knee joint why is the ankle joint rotated 180 degree the ankle is rotated to 180 degree or the foot is rotated to 180 degree before fusion because the flexion of the ankle and the flexion of the knee joint occurs in the opposite direction right to help the ankle joint acts like a knee joint we have to first rotate the ankle joint or the foot in 180 degree so that the flexion of the ankle and the flexion of the knee occurs in the same direction and after doing this after some time what you can do is add a prosthesis to the knee joint below the knee joint and the function of the lower limbs can be regained even though we have rejected the lower limb. After the placement of the prosthesis, the patient can normally walk, run, play, climb stairs like any other person. If you are interested to know more about the process of retinoplasty, then I will add a link uh, to a short animation video in the description. You may check that out. Thank you.